try to prove yourself whether the following statement is true or not. When you're done, you can see this video, the main steps of a correct solution, and you can use this video to check whether your answer is correct or not. So, it's a statement. This, this video will try to prove that if n were square, matrices n times n, then that AB equals that BA. Uh, then we can use a theorem if we want. Uh, what does the theorem say? Uh, for square matrices, we have that AB equals that A times that B. And uh, a matrix is invertible if and only if it's determinant is non-zero. It's not said that we need those. Uh, just we can use them if we like. Apart from the definitions, we can always use the relevant definitions. So let's try to prove. Well, let's try to take some uh, A and B. So here we have some general A, some general B. And we compute the product AB over here. You can use the uh, row column rule like that. So we get a 3, uh, 2 plus uh, uh, 9 equals 11, uh, 4 and uh, 2, uh, uh, 4 plus 12 equals 16. So there you have your AB. You can compute the determinant. 3 times 16 minus 4 times 11, 48 minus, minus 44 equals 4. That AB equals 4. And s uh, similarly, oh, this should be BA. You can compute BA uh, over here. Determinant equals 4 times 15 minus 7 times 8, so 16 minus uh, 56 equals 4. Again, so the determinant of AB equals the determinant of BA. So that would be a correct solution. I only have given it now in one case. But you do not know whether this is true. In general, you cannot prove a general statement by just giving an example. But wait a minute, it's actually very trivial to prove this second solution. Why don't you just do it like this? Uh, we know AB equals B times A, so the debt of A times B is also equal to the debt determinant of B times A. Done. Oops, careful here. For matrices, you do not have that A times B equals B times A in general. Uh, so this first step over here is really wrong. Don't do that. So that doesn't work either. Next attempt. So uh, let's uh, repeat the question. We wanted to find for square matrices whether that AB equals that BA, and we could use the theorem 1 if we like. So what can we do? Uh, what's given? So it's a good approach. Write down what's given. Well, not much. It's only given that the matrices are square. And to prove, well, only this statement. But how can we prove it? Well, the trick is as follows. What are the ingredients? You can use theorem 1a, which says that uh, that AB equals that A times that B, if you have square matrices. And that's nice, because then you have your that AB equals that A times that B. But that A and that B are scalar. So second ingredient, if you have scalars, you can invert the order. So that A times that B equals that B times that A. That's the second ingredient. And then you use the theorem again. You turn that B times that A into that BA. So that's the uh, third ingredient needed to prove the statement. So uh, there, there we have. And now we, uh, uh, now we can use these ingredients to prove the theorem in general. 